Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to spend just a little bit of time talking once again on our snaps, our flat packs, and our app images. And I want to just talk about a couple little things. Why am I so critical of Ubuntu with the snap packages? Which one of these systems would I use the most if I had to? And what is one of the fundamental challenges that we find within these systems? Because some of the things that some people are saying is, is a great benefit, I actually see as a little bit of a negative. And so we'll kind of explain a little bit here. So first, what is the biggest problem with snaps involved in, in a Linux distribution? Well, they do give us the ability to have the latest softwares without having the what's called the dependency hell and a lot of the other issues. The biggest challenge that many people will have with Snaps is that it is a single point of distribution and it is a proprietary point of distribution. Now, what does that mean? That means that uh, since it's a single point of distribution, it could actually be very easily compromised by a DNS hack. Changing a DNS hack on somebody's server, on a distribution, altering host files, things like that, could actually redirect you to a malicious place and you might think you're getting snap packs, but you're really not. That's one major problem with having a centralized distribution. The second major challenge, of course, is that the proprietary platform, we are not completely sure. They can say this is the code, but it's a lot harder to verify when the distribution is all proprietary. That is why Linux Mint has the biggest deal with snaps and why they have completely removed snaps from their distribution in place of flat packs. In fact, they've come out and said, if, all, if, if you open source what we're doing and give multiple channels of distribution, that would probably mean that they would not worry about it and allow the snaps into the system. So now this brings us to flat packs and app images. Of all of these three, which one would I most be inclined to use? I actually like the app images best. The reason is because they're very standalone. I can grab a single app image that works and keep it completely independent without ever having to go through and update it, worry about it updating through a distribution. So the way a flat pack is on Linux Mint, for example, and one of my criticisms of that is that flat packs are so integral in Linux Mint, you can't remove the functionality because it will break your, your distribution. I, I believe it will. I've not actually attempted it. Maybe I should try it someday. But anyway, the challenge is, is that as soon as an update is rolled through, it's automatically pushed down. This has become an issue in recent years where we are so used to pushing the upgrade button, pushing the upgrade button, we have been trained like rats in a cage to update, 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 so much so that Windows forces the updates upon us. That's a problem, that's a challenge, because not all updates are necessarily beneficial. You see, what we need to do is we need to separate security from feature. This is something I've mentioned a lot in the past, and it's so, so important because you might introduce a new feature. For example, the latest Caden Live, unless they've changed it, I haven't looked at it lately, but the latest Caden Live they separate out your audio and your video tracks and it basically makes working with a video. So like this right here, I'm recording this actually with my older mic set up just because I'm like pushed for time today. So didn't want to have all my mic set up, mic equipment set up. So I'm recording this on my camera with a, uh, with a microphone platform. So I'm getting one file that contains both the video and the audio. On the latest Caden Live, that splits it into two tracks and it actually makes it a little bit more difficult to work with if I'm doing something a little bit more advanced editing than I do here. So on my Christian channel, for example, where I have this similar setup, I will actually have eight different tracks going with all of the editing I do on those videos. This channel I don't do quite as much editing so it's not as much of an inconvenience, but that real new feature of separating all those tracks and keeping those tracks always separated actually is something I don't want. And so I'm gonna hold back to the older version as long as I can. If it's in a distribution model that's always upgrading the latest features, that gets in the way of my workflow because you change a feature and you change the entire platform. The reason I even work with Caden Live to begin with was I used to do everything with OpenShot. 
But the developers of OpenShot changed something in the platform and they completely radically changed it. I have to get a video out. I don't have time to relearn the UI because they felt like changing something. I don't want to take the time to do that. That, by the way, is why I run Arch over here and Mint over here. Because the Arch gives me the ability to see what is the latest package to get used to any changes that are going to be rolling out soon so that when I'm ready to update the operating system or update the newer version, I kind of know what's going on with it. And so with that, I would love to see the ability to separate the features from the security. And by the way, that's what Linux Mint does. I will not be running old, out of date, insecure software. I'm running software that has all the security patches that they're not changing the feature package. If I want to change a feature package set, I will update the thing manually to get the latest feature package set. So how does this wrap back in? Well, snaps and flat packs both always push out the latest versions. I don't want the latest versions. I want the versions I'm used to. The app image allows me to download the version I have and keep that version. Now, if I want to get the security patches, that's a scarier story. And that's why I still like Mint the best because it's going to give me the updated security as long as I'm not using the Flatpak versions, but it's not going to change my versions and my UI. And that is very important. So that is why I have a challenge and a problem with the snaps and the flat packs. Snap, biggest problem, they're always rolling out the latest versions, even if you don't want it. And they're rolling things out in a proprietary platform that becomes a little bit harder to audit. And they're trusting the developers, not the code itself. Those are some of the fundamental problems and challenges. Now, to turn around, flat packs, they have a more open source distribution. They are always giving you the latest app images you can download directly. You're still relying on the developer or the distributor of those, although I, blew, I, I think all of them you can audit to a degree. Uh, since I'm not a coder, I can't speak all, to all that as much. But with the app image, I can take that same app image and I can keep it laying around and I'm not forced to update it just because the developer wants to push something new in the UI. So that's just a little bit about what I wanted to do. Uh, we're gonna wrap this video up here today, very short video. Um, hopefully tomorrow I should be back with, a, um, uh, with another uh, installment of our desktop environment. Uh, we'll see though, my Tuesdays are getting super crazy busy, but we'll get it out hopefully sometime this week. Anyway, thanks for coming along guys. Have a look at the links in the description down below if you want to help support Switch to Linux, and we will catch you guys later.